Hola. Danny, the farmers in Fernando municipality has been extremely helpful to Libertad. And now they are getting a lot of pressure from the regime every single day. What can I do? You should talk to Senora Toca and see what she needs. She's the president of the farmers' collectives there. I'm on it. She just told Libertad that her farmers are about to break our agreement. We really need these people on our side, Danny. Danny, where you at? Getting close, I think. So you know, Yelena's the big boss. I'm team captain, and you won't be able to miss Gilberto. Why? Who's Gilberto? Only the most fabulous spy in Oloviara. You can't even fart in El Este without Gilberto's network hearing about it. Spies and hackers. La Moral sounds like the real deal. We don't fuck around. And if you've never been to Concepcion before, the place has got a curfew. When the sun goes down, soldados come out. Thanks for the heads up. Coño, I got a helicopter on my ass. Call me when you get there. On run. I'm at Concepcion. How do I find La Moral? I'll send you a pic. Show no one. What are you sending me? It will help you find the door. Don't forget the password and remember, curfew. <laughs> Hola. Buenas. Muerto el perro, se acabó la rabia. Welcome to El Agujero. Try anything, and I'll cut your head off and use it as a football. Nice to meet you, too. My name's Danny. Alfredo. Down the stairs. I'll talk to my people, honey. Big Jorge and Anna's gangs are probably on the ship. Your Yelena? Mierda! Danny, right? Where's my medicine? You mean Libertas meds? I gave them to the legends. No. You handed it to some retirees shitting their diapers on top of a mountain. What could you possibly want from them? We need more than bullets and guerrillas to take down Castillo. Like it or not, Yaranos love the legends. Clara Garcia loves her politics. Good luck getting those abuelos off their asses. We could use La Moral's help. You know why Clara never told you about us? Because to her, we're just a bunch of kids playing with guns. She loves to talk about the future. But it's her future, not ours. Clara's just a Castillo who lost his dick. So you have a better plan for Yara? Bullets first, politics later. You said you needed volunteers. Admiral Benitez got the jump on us a couple of hours ago. She's holding my people hostage on a cargo ship. I'll go. Alone? I don't get it. Consider us even for the meds. Save my people and I'll think about it. Mm -hmm. hey, for real? Libertad? No shit. You saving our people, right? That's the plan. I know a farmer with a helicopter who can fly you out to the ship. Follow me.
Stay cold in a soul. Be nice to him. Come on. Easy now, easy. Easy! <laughs> You're with Libertad? I am. I think it would be great if we joined forces. Yeah? We've been fighting and we've been winning. But Admiral Benitez will always have more than we do. We kill one soldado today. Tomorrow they get replaced with three more. And when La Moral people die, there's no one replacing them? Not yet. On top of that, the farmers and the people just trying to survive don't want to fight. We need fresh blood. Real fighters. What about getting the legends to join? We tried. None of those abuelos want to fight. <laughs> I heard a lot of them even support Castillo. You heard wrong. Well, I don't see any abuelos fighting now. I'm working on it. So, how do these farmers get a helicopter? They built it from the parts of ones we shot down. Inga. These farmers are 100% on our side. The other farmers are not? Some are. Some are with Castillo. You think we can get them on our side? We're gonna need them. Only when we're going to liberate El Este. Maybe when they hear Liber, we're here. What's going on? I probably want it there. It's around here. Mis amores, it's Rosamel Paquete coming at you with love. Speaking of love, I love being Jaran, don't you? Just look at America. Land of the free! Almost there. <coughs> she better be okay. Venga acá. Yelena called. Do you want to lift to that Keep boat? Talk, Let's do this. Dad. Get in. Time's wasting. My name's Calixto. Danny! I'm going to be careful and stay low. I'll get you as close as I can. Where did you learn how to fly? I did my basic service as a pilot a couple of years ago. I got kicked out for calling the captain a come mierda. <laughs> I was kicked out of the ground forces. Turns out drill sergeants don't like getting punched in the throat. Good to know. I never seen you before. When did you join La Moral? Ha! Wait! I was told you were with La Moral! I'm doing this rescue as a favor. I'm with Libertad. What can you tell me about La Moral? You know that village? They call it Maldito. That the real name? Yeah! Some Spaniard named it back in 1490 whatever. Couple of months ago, Admiral Benitez decided to make it illegal to go to the water and fish. The people protested. Benitez executed half the town. So what does La Moral do? They tracked and killed every last soldado who did the executing. And I'm not talking about guerrilla ambush jungle shit. I'm talking about following them to their homes and slitting their throats while their families slept. Assassin shit. These kids are smart, coordinated, and cold-blooded. Sounds like it. Show pass. We keep tabs on military convoys passing through there and report them to La Moral. Seems like they run a tight operation. These kids are on the ball. Yelena is more organized than the military. La Moral's got our back. When Admiral Benitez started getting rough with our families, La Moral got rough back. Killed any soldado who dared to step foot on our lands. Pretty soon, they stopped coming. Ship. I can't get you any closer. This is great. Gracias, mi amigo. Good luck saving those people.
Estoy haciendo mi ronda, cambio. Estoy haciendo mi ronda, cambio. Kill the alarm. You take those restraints, will hold? I'm not so sure. These gusanos deserve everything they get. They have our people tied up near the front of the boat!
not moving. What's going on? walking on the container. Yelena, I'm on the ship. I freed as many as I could. Hang tight. I am sending boats and backup. Gracias. This is Admiral Benitez. To the fake Yaran terroristas, I have you right where I want you. At this very minute, military forces are heading to your position. I recommend laying down your weapons and taking one last look at a nation that does not want you. Instead of peacefully serving Yara as outcasts, you will die. Right here. Right now. I got the mission launcher working! That place mine! Yelena. They're waiting for you to clear the air. Can somebody tell those planes to hold still? Elena, it's done. Your people are safe. I heard. We even for the supplies? Fuck yeah. Need me for anything else? I have to talk to Gilberto first. But you'll be hearing from me. You got my number. Gracias. You're not so bad, Annie. But you better keep an eye out. If you weren't on Admiral Benitez's radar already, you are now. Welcome to the real Eleste. Danny, how is my legend? Getting old a bit too fast, if that's what you mean. I should head back to their camp, see what else I can do. I never promised an easy fight. Just the right one. Coño, I feel like bad shit's gone down here. You need to freshen up that gear. I'm Lola.
sé. Déjame, bebé tigre. Los medical supplies will put a lot of guerrillas back together. Gracias. Lucky appreciates them too, even if she doesn't show it. And bringing La Morale was smart. This camp needs young blood. Shakes things up. Now we need to work on Lorenzo. Hope you have good camera skills. What do you kids say? No filter? I won't have a junkie in my camp. We need to rack the field for the Tattoos and colorful hair. I'll keep an eye out. Gracias. I'm worried something terrible has happened. Now back up to the table, my dear boss. And you hear the word paradise. What do you see? Do you see fire and blood? Do you see suffering and pain? This is what the murderers of 67 want to yell during the revolution. And this is what they wish for you to those look like cages. But, or what? Someone. Yeah. Inga, what the fuck are they doing to these poor people? I need more pigs. Something under the water. What the fuck is in the lake? Finger. So many. Bar carajo. So many dead bodies in the water. I think I'm going to be sick. Castillo, you fucking monster. I need more pigs. Moral. 
What is going on here? What is going on here? What are they doing with their bodies? What is going on here? Sounds came from in there. I've got a bad feeling about this place. All of this bullshit about treating cancer. What are they doing to these people? This should be enough to convince Lorenzo. El Tigre, I've got the pics. You won't believe what they're doing to our people. It's horrific. Oh, I believe it. But it's Lorenzo who needs convincing. And what about Gabriella? I don't know what to tell you. She's gone. Uh, I had a feeling. Okay, get those photos back to camp. It's time for Lorenzo to wake up. We were just kids, El Tigre. <laughs> Lorenzo, I took pictures of that place Honron was talking about. You swipe to the left. They look free to you. Yeah. This is what Libertad and La Moral are fighting. You can hate us, but at least we're doing something about it. No one deserves this, Lorenzo. This is happening all over Yara. You just can't see it from so high up this mountain. I can't look at this anymore. I didn't vote for Castillo. The war is over. So that was a waste. That's the end. You shoot the tree. Go 
Hey, nice work with that rescue. I heard you kick Benito in the last. Think I will. Please, God, not me. What's happening? Meeting on the mound. Some of our friends want to quit early. Okay, listen up. This isn't worth killing for. Sure as hell isn't worth dying for. We're young. We should be out there drinking and fucking and skipping school. Woo! Our parents and grandparents already stole our future. Why should we give a shit? That's what I used to think. And then one day, Admiral Benitez walked into my classroom with a gun. She called on your name, you came to the front. One by one. Alvarez, Bermudez, Carrillo. The Admiral read their crimes, protesting, handing out pamphlets, liking a Clara Garcia post. Fernandez, Jimenez, Peña. I learned a lesson on my last day at school. You can either be on the right side of history or the wrong side of Castillo's guns. Wise words, young Guerrilla. Is that morale taking new members? Depends. What? Is there an age limit? I will bleed for La Morale. If you take me. Welcome to the war, viejo. <laughs> Eso! Woo! So how do we take out the Admiral? Push-ups! Are the first step to victory! The Grand Hotel, Danny. That's the key. I got a convoy I like to make friends with. No. We need Carlito. Push-ups never lie. You just cut your hand open. You sure doing push-ups was a good idea? What can I say? Your little speech fucked me up. See! The part where you put the gun to your head and pull the trigger? That was great. I like these young guerrillas. They remind me of, well, me. Only smaller. And it's going to take a lot more than a basement full of little means to win this war. The time has come, baby tigre. We need Carlito, the fifth legendary member of the 67th Revolution, and the toughest motherfucker I ever knew. Castillo has many bullets, but we will have Carlito, and Carlito only needs one. Nice speech, Yelena. Glasses for There's these farmers in Sombrado Gorge. They're super fans of La Moral. Actually, they're super fans of me. Don't know about you, but I fucking love hearing convoys. I need you to go to the Grand Hotel Caballero. It used to be a resort for wealthy touristas, but Benitez converted it into some sort of prison torture hellhole. One of our fighters, Hugo, is being held there, which means he's got an appointment with the dentist, the regime's best interrogator. Benitez can't find out where we are, Danny. The regime get any in there. Hey, I'm driving up to the hotel. I can sneak you past the guards. Hop in. Oh, shit! 
You're doing this mission? Hell yeah. I hate dentists. Me too. They say when you're in her chair, you either give up information or your life. In the or chair. both. And I'm going to have to find Hugo quickly. Our scouts are already in position and ready to help. You heard Yelena earlier. That was the voice we needed. Sometimes it's hard to tell if we're winning or losing, you know? We're going to win this thing. I promise you that. on a mountain. Looks fancy. Gran Hotel Caballero. Since 1740, that place has been a military prison. Then a hotel, then back to being a prison, then a hotel again. Looks like this place isn't taking reservations. When Castillo's there, it's always checkout time. How long are we doing this? I don't know. My jokes have no vacancy. <laughs> I'm hanging up now. Danny, I'm your eyes on this one and I'm in position. The dentist is already in there with them. Pinga. I thought dentists were always late. Not this one. <laughs> Medic. What a beautiful set of teeth you have, Gusano. Now tell me. Hugo, where is La Moral's headquarters? Fuck you! Hija de puta! En posición! We already know the <laughs> Yelena, the dentist is dead. La Moral is safe. For now. Oh, and I'm working on a gift for you. It? The hotel. I'm taking it. They have tortured their last guerrilla here. You sure you're not La Moral, Danny? I'm just saying it. Come here.
<laughs> what do you want the people of Yara to know about the conflict? <laughs> conflict? It's business as usual. Look, in spite of all the rumors going around, there's no war. At least not here in Eastern Yara. Am I right, Admiral? This is not a war. There. The criminals of La Libertad will be stopped. Yeah. They're few, we are many. You hear that? And... Libertards? This means chica. She means business. And what about the violent gang known as La Moral? Anyone who attacks Yara's military or business interests is not a true Yaran. My strategy... And I helped her with the strategy. I've got decades of experience. I ran a security firm. The East is safe. Am I right? Right. No prea capas, por nada. That's a cut. I gotta go. Señor Presidente. Admiral, so lovely to hear your voice. If I could ask, how is it that a group of school children in El Este are inflicting the highest number of active duty casualties of this war? Admiral? They, um, they have support from Libertad and the Legends. I've always taken a personal interest in your career. Handpicked you out of the academy. But make no mistake, there were more experienced, more qualified, and more intelligent officers in line before you. You stood out for one simple reason. Si, señor presidente. You were a woman in uniform. And now you could be the highest ranking woman ever to have her head on a pike. Gracias, señor presidente. I'll think about recruiting your super fans. Gracias. El Tigre. I'm at the museum. So am I. If you want to see photographs of us when we were young and dumb, put your gun away and walk in like a tourista. An alarm. I'm surprised this many people are here at this hour. Better watch myself here. El Tigre! Is Carlito a fucking gang? Por supuesto! What were you expecting? It's Carlito! I've got the gun, baby Tigre! You take the wheel! Let's get out of here! Carlitos busted. I can't exactly carry him out of here. A little love. You can pick him. I know. El Tigre and Carlito together again. Baby Tigre, jump in the driver's seat. I've got the gun. Tigre, let's go. Open the gates! 
that Carlito was a tank. So you came! What the fuck is he doing here? I wanted him to see Carlito for himself. <laughs> Mi compay. How many years since you've been down this mountain? Too many. Carlito and I, we have a lot of good memories. Time to make some new ones. You should join us, hermano. War is over. When we are all free. <laughs> hey, come. Come on, it's gonna be good. I'm good. Come on.
on the run. I think I spotted the convoy. Bingo. They're not even at the pass yet. You might want to wait until they get there. Or not. You're going. Good job, Danny. Let's see what's inside this bad boy. Pop it open! <gasps> Jackpot! This is going to help a montón. Nice one, Danny. Admiral Benitez is pissed off and has her troops working double shifts all across El Este. Sounds like we have her right where we want her. Meet me at El Agujero. I want to go over my attack plan. I heard you hit that convoy. Si. Con Ron's heading your way with the cash. Good job, Danny. Any battle we get will go a long way in this fight. Admiral Benitez has increased patrols now. So watch the roads. Okay. We gave the farmers better guns. You should have seen how bad their guns were. I need to tell you the plan. Thanks to you, Benitez's defenses are spread out all across El Este. Now's the perfect time to attack her headquarters. The problem is, we don't know how many soldados are there. So, here's what we're going to do. You, La Moral, the Ancianos, and that tank are going to quietly get on the island. Rendezvous with El Tigre at the place I marked on your map. Come here, my baby Tigre. A big battle is on the horizon. I'm just happy everyone is getting along. You did this. Back in 67, it was Santos who could bring the people together. Today, you have that magic. <laughs> so, I'm Santos? No, you are me, the Feast. Now, 
Before every mission, I find that if I imagine myself accomplishing it, I will accomplish it. There. I just imagined us destroying the Navy. We doing this? You kids today. You're so fast with everything. Take in this moment. The world will change in a couple of hours. like this way is blocked. I'm gonna go for Benitez. Do it! We'll find another way in and connect with you as soon as we can! Aguerrilla has made it inside! Find them! Kill them! If you're not dealing with the guerrilla inside, then you're killing guerrillas outside! Excelente! That tank was their most powerful weapon! Now, it's time to kill these fake Yaran rats! Get that guerrilla! Follow! 
here, and I will deliver your corpses to Presidente Castillo myself! Release the poison! <laughs> Hey! Don't do that! It'll all be over soon! <laughs> oh, you are going to fall! <coughs> Easily, Benitez. Hey, baby Tigre, you still there? See, si. seems to be fucking death around every corner here. Then make sure you're on the other side of those corners. Claro, El Tigre. <clears throat> Ugh. Go. You will die here alone. Cállate. Get me the fuck out of here. Help me. Open my cell. You can do it in the control room. Now, how do I open the door? Benitez went in. I bet some button on the console will do the trick. Go ahead. Release the fake Yaren rats. They will die, just like you. Fuck. You think I wasn't That's ready me. for an attack like this?
break this fucking door down. Benitez. Ojo por ojo. ¡Viva la moral! ¡Benitez! Couldn't have done this without you, Danny. That's not a smart move. You should cut her down. Why? It's what that bitch deserves. You killed a soldier. Good for you. Except the thing about soldiers is there's always more of them. Sí, mama. Same mistakes. New faces. You're just bitter because your revolution came and went and all you got was a fucking mountain. <laughs> Enjoy your trophy. Bonitas is private stash. Salud. Enough with the pics. Victory Danny. I thought I was Bebe Tigre. Nah. Danny Roja will be bigger than El Tigre. You know why? Because your war will fucking end. 
¡Viva la moral! ¡Sí! ¡Viva la moral! There's something about third world prisons. They make me hard. As you can see, Mr. McKay, everything is under control. Good old shakedown. I love it. Did they do it? Who the fuck cares? <laughs> the Admiral was a lamb. She did not have the stomach needed to deal with the terroristas. I would like you to consider expanding your operations. Look, you Are you a legend? Open the cell. With respect, el presidente has a strict... Open it! Did you fight with Santos Espinosa in the 67 Revolution? I drove a tank right through the doors of the Capitolio in the Battle of Esperanza. I was there when we took your grandfather. I watched him die. Why did you hate him? The only thing a Castillo has done for Yara is rape our land. And you will do the same thing now. You don't know that. I do! And if you loosen these chains, I will wrap my hands around your little throat and save Yara from another Castillo! Or you can do your country a favor and kill yourself. <laughs> we should have someone look at that mule. It's not mine. 